Hi, I'm Martha Jose and this is Ty Mitchell and you know the fit of a bit on a horse is so important. We're going to talk about how to fit this bit. Alright, and when you, you get these bits, when you're, you're getting them at your tack shop, uh, you want to make sure that you get the head stall hooked up on the proper end. So many times I'll see head stalls down here where the reins go, but it needs to be up here closer to the curb chain. Your head stall typically hooks up closest to the curb chain. That way everything functions properly. And then having a head stall that fits, it's going to take up enough with these high purchase bits is just as important. One of the biggest things that we'll see is we'll have these long cheek piece head stalls and they'll get it on their horse. They can't ever get it picked up in the horse's mouth enough, but having a short cheek piece with a high purchase bit is important. <clears throat> Now what I'm looking for is I want this bit to have one to two wrinkles. I want it flush in his mouth. I don't want the bit hanging down low. And, and so this actually looks pretty good where it sets on him. Now on the curb chain, I want a couple of fingers between the chin and the chain. And if I need a little more, that's a little loose. Easy. So I'm just gonna unscrew my curb. Now that's got a pretty good feel. It's got pretty good timing, pretty good balance. When I pull on the shank, I want to kind of see the action of the cheek piece and that looks good. And Ty, we always want to come to the front and see that this bit is balanced on each side, right? Yes. You don't want it dropped on one side and, and high on the other. You want it to be equal on both sides. That way when you go to make a turn, it's a balanced turn.